Hi everyone, it's Taff. Welcome back to Car Mechanic Simulator 2014. We're here, we're back, we're back in the building and we have got some work to do today. So let's check on where we got up to. So, repair invoice number 39. Find and eliminate the cause. We've got a Genesis Town 2006 model. Some kind of liquid is leaking from the engine area. I know nothing about cars, but I'm sure it's a bad sign in DDO. It is. So, fluid leaking. So it's going to be probably oil, is it, do you reckon? Let's check the oil. Let's see if it's the oil leaking. Yeah, it looks like got possible oil leak, do you reckon? So let's... Um, uh, hang on. Oh, sorry. Uh, I'm just thinking, what could be... I'm wondering if... Is it... Oh, look at that. Look at the state of that cap. I wonder if it's leaking out of the... Let's take that off. Um, and let's check on the oil filter. I'm wondering if it's leaking out of the oil filter, you see. If I could just get this blooming camera to lock up. There we go. 38... Yeah, so it could be leaking out of the... Um... Nope. It could be leaking out of the... Ah, camera, would you please stop it? Stop it! Stop it. Stop it. Okay. Let's go and get this uh, oil filter replaced. And we might buy a new cap for them as well, because the cap looks like it's gone up to pot as well. So we need an oil filter for 50 bucks. Yep. And an oil cap for 94 bucks. Bargain. Okay, great. Let's pop. Oh wait, let's um, let's pop that in then. Nice new oil filter, and a nice new cap to go on top. That should keep it nice and secure. We better just put some oil in it. Glug 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 glug. Okay, how's that? Uh, let's put that thing back on. Wow, this car's in bad shape, isn't it? Why? How's that? Finally, no, that it wasn't an oil leak then. What colour was the liquid? Let's just check. We did put enough oil. Oil is fine. It's a bit crap, but um, what else? What else? Engine area. So it could be a radiator. Uh, can we get to the radiator? Maybe we. Do we need to? Uh, it could be coolant, or it could be. Uh, yeah, it could be coolant, couldn't it? So. Oh, we can't get to the radiator. What about... Uh... Oh, I didn't mean to do that. I was trying to get to... Uh... Oh, we can't get underneath there. Okay. Um, this car looks in bad shape all round, actually. Let's just drop that down. I'm wondering if it if it's cooler. We haven't got a radiator to check. Uh, so let us check the... Um... Uh, no, back out, back out, away, 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 away. Oh, look at that, bright red. The water pump's gone. The water pump's leaking. Okay, that would cause um, all sorts of stuff. So how do we... We need to get all this off, don't we? Uh, which belt needs to come off first? Uh, hang on. Oh, do we have to take that... Why do we have to take this silly plastic metal thing off? Hang on, I'm just going to have to unlock that. i got... Camera's got all hitched in it. Right, with, with that gone, now can I remove the belts? Yeah, why? Why? Is it is it just... I guess it's just the engine cover and we have to remove it to get to... Uh, to get to anything else? No, I want to remove that, please. Can we... Do I have to, what do I have to remove first, then? That? Okay, now will the belt come off? Yes! Okay, now let's get the water pump out. Okay. Uh... We will have to bleed the system afterwards, but um, probably won't have to do it in this game. Right, we repaired the water pump. Fantastico. Let's pop that back in. If only it was this simple. Eh? Hey? Oh my god, look at the state of this. We'll, we'll give him the 33% uh, belt. We'll give him the 38% belt. Wow. Put that tensioner in. Okay, put the uh, the plastic topper. How's that? Yes, repaired. Boom. Go. Right. Good start for the day. 
So it wasn't oil. We we changed that oil in the oil thingy. Um, it was the water relic. So never mind. Never mind. Repair invoice number forty. Test the car on the diagnostic path. Two. Replace the the worn out. Sorry. Replace all worn out parts. The ride quality is awful. There must be something wrong with the suspension. Okay. It's a Revington Wind 2011. Not bad. Should we take it for a test drive, and then we'll take it on the? We probably don't need to do that. Actually, we probably can just. We can probably just take it on the if it's a suspension thing. We can just take it onto um, onto the riding road diagnostic path, Majing. So let's all saints on the radio once again. My favourite. I must be clearly. Let's check on the old brakes. Brakes are fine. I think it's more the suspension we want to check out. I am holding the brake. There we go. Ah, the brakes a little bit. Rubbish. Uh, right, on to the, uh, the Bone Rattler. Let's check on the suspension. What do you reckon? That looks okay, doesn't it? 70, 70, 79. Check the rears. Oh, okay. So the, rear, the rears look a bit um, knacked. So we'll have to go and see what's going on there. I wonder if... Uh, I wonder if they've got a shock absorber gone or something. Right, let's get these rear rear wheels off. Ooh, shiny alloy, shiny. I love our super quick. Um, right, can we do that? Oh yes, look. So we got the shock absorber's gone. And the rear suspension spring's gone. That shock absorber looks knacked as well. I'm, I'm guessing probably the, sh the spring has gone on the other side as well. Um, okay, so how do we get these... Oh no, sorry. How do we get these out, off? Um, let's have a look. How do we... Do we have to... We'll have to take this out. So how do we... Um, how do we... Anyone? Ah, do you have to remove that? To remove... I have no idea how to get this off. I'm guessing we might have to go underneath, actually. Uh, no, let's jack it up. Right, how do we... How do we get this Majing off? I want to get you off. Ah, there we go. Two big bolts, that's all it takes. Right, so we'll get that spring out. And we'll get this shock absorber out. Great. Oh, so we didn't need to take the wheel off after all. Um, not to worry. Now, if we can take this with... Oh, yeah, look. Oh, God. Is his back... Oh, that's fine. That's fine. Um, not that I was going to change the exhaust anyway, but let's just uh, take this off. No, let's just... Take... Why can't I... I do need to remove the wheel. Good God. Right. It's so pernickety at times. Right, let's um, drop this wheel off then. Right, now let's jack it back up. Oh dear, oh dear. It's a lot of warm pieces on this car. Right, let's get let's get you off. Oh, we have to take the real exhaust. Oh, it's, it wasn't that after all. It was the damn exhaust. Uh, where's the... Uh, oh, there we go. Just about... Just just about crane our neck far enough back to, uh, to be able to remove that. Now we can take that off. Okay, great. Wow. That's a lot of work. That's a lot of labour just to get these um, bits off. Okay, wow, my neck was hurting at the end of that. So we need shock absorbers and a spring. So, wee, 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 wee. Oh, no, no, that's the front spring. We want a rear spring, rear spring, and we want... Shock absorber. Oh, uh, shush, 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 shush. Shock absorber rear. They're just generic ones. Are they great? Okay, we'll have two of those, and... Get those slotted in post haste. 
Ah, oh, damn camera. This is the most challenging thing of this game, is this damn camera. Okay. Big bolt in, big bolt in. That, that, stop it, that, on. Oh god, hang on. Crane the neck right back. There's got to be health and safety issues, you know, your, your health and safety policies of the business, that's got to be infringed by doing these absolute gymnastic events when it comes to uh, replacing these bits and bobs. Okay, let's pop you in, you in, please, pop you in. I like how the spring just stays there. We don't have to put a clamp on it or anything, that's great. Okay, you on there, and you on there. Right, I think that's done, apart from the wheels, so let's drop her down. Get some of the wheels back on. Oh, he's got an even wear on the back. Uh, I should point that out to him, being the, uh, the, uh, the pillar of society that I am. I will do that. Look, this one's only 77%, so... It could be two different makes of tyres, different age. You may have this one may have come from the front. I don't know. Anyway, it matters not. Doom, doom, doom. Done. Boom. Get out of here. Wow, that's quite good. Two jobs done reasonably quickly. Let's gonna try and get a couple more done. Feeling pretty confident. So we got here, invoice 41, find and eliminate the cause on a Vault Inspector 2013. I can't believe how many problems I've had there with this car. My engine stopped suddenly and isn't reliable. Oh wow, but it looks good. Not so sure on the colour, but the model itself is gorgeous. Right, so, sorry, what was the problem? <laughs> I completely forgot. I uh, can't believe this, many car, my engine keeps stopping suddenly. Okay, let's do an electrical thingy, see if there's any um, electrical majings problems with it. Oh yeah. Alright, let's stick the reader on. Beep 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 beep. Right. Excellent, right, let's get out. How do we get out? There we go. Let's just go and see if there is an electrical problem then. It sounds electrical, doesn't it? If it's um, if it keep engine keeps cutting out, uh, can I do that? Oh, there we go. Your ignition module's knacked. That's what it is, my friend. We'll have to take this bit of flimsy plastic off first before we can. Oh, and your um, your HT leads look knacked as well. Oh, we've got V6, is it? Those sparkies look okay. What's the the back one then? Oh yeah, there's an, there, oh, the, the wires and act at the back as well. How the, they look green. Great, okay. So, any of that repairable? I wouldn't have thought so. Can I make my own HT leads? No, is the answer. No. So I need two sets of V6 HD lead, HT leads, sorry, and transmission module. That's what it was. Right, so we need uh, ignition wires Yep, yeah, we need that. I need that. And I also need that ah, ignition module. Yes, please. Thank you. Oh, come on. If we nail this so quickly, that'd be so nice if we've got this straight away. I'll be so pleased. That one, please. Yep. Yeah. Uh, swing around the back. We somehow do some sort of death defying move, gravity defying move as well. Woo, and and, and physical uh blah, 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 whatever. Anyway, is that done? Oh, that, that was it. Was that really? Get out of here. We are flying. Right. Come on, number 42. What have you got for us? What have you got for us? We're not scared of you. Invoice repair number 42. Make car drivable. <laughs> Test car, test car on diagnostic path. Family Vulcan, a Vulcan family even, 2011. I bought this car cheaply. Ah, oh, you see? How many people start with that when they come in here with their tales of woe? Uh, but, an but with an incomplete engine, can you mount the missing parts and check it on the diagnostic path? 
What? Okay, so this is a project, is it? Um. What? Uh. Okay. <laughs> I don't know what to say to that. Let's have a look. What's missing? Okay, so. Um. Oh, he's got a belt missing. Um, he's got a pipe missing there. I don't know. Oh, he's got no ignition. Oh, hang on, he's got spark plugs missing. He's got no ignition thing. Has he got an ignition module? Uh, that's flashing red, which is a little bit worrying. He didn't ask me to repair anything. He just said replace missing bits. So, I guess... Right, let's hang on, let's take that off. Let's Okay, so what do we need? We definitely need an old Do we need a HT lead and we need uh, a is he, is he missing a starter motor? Hang on. Isn't a starter motor only goes there? Have you got Oh my god, what what are you missing? Oh no, there's his ignition module. So he's got an ignition module, that's fine. It's amazing, isn't it? When you look at these engines, I'm just going to come out and go back in. I look at these all the time. What am I missing? Um, right, definitely spark plugs. Three spark plugs and HT leads. So let's go and get those done first, as I can see them. So, uh, spark plugs, spark plugs. And ignition leads. Ignition leads. Ignition wires. Right. Right, so let's stick those in. Okay. He's given us five grand. You know, was it five grand he gave us? Let's just cut out. How much is he going to get? Five grand. You know, for an extra five grand, you'd think he'd be able to pick this car up with the actual these parts it, it, intact. Right, so the ignition. That's fine. Okay. Oh, hello. Oh, no, go back. Who are you? Is that the alternator? Okay, so he's missing an alternator and the... What belt's that? I can't never remember what they're called. That is the timing belt. So he's missing the serpentine belt, isn't he? That's there. The water pump is there, and that's there. So he's missing a serpentine belt and an alternator. Thank you, car, for the the ghosting effect, which helped me out there. So we need an alternator. Alternator. Oh, we need one of those as well. Uh, While well, it's there, an alternator. We need that. And we need... what was the other thing? Oh, serpentine belt. Yes, thank you. Serpentine belt. Okay. Uh, so we need to put that on. Uh, we'll stick that on. Oh, we could have stuck that old one on if I knew we had one. Um, is that it? No. Uh, does it? Is that is that a ghost or is that is that there? No, he's missing a starter motor. Okay, great. I thought he was. Starter. Yes, it's just a bog standard, and it's not V six. So that should be fine for the job. Oh, we've got that bit as well, haven't we? Um, where's this stuff? <laughs> We're also missing a battery. How did I miss that? Oh, goodness. Okay, we need to put a battery in it as well. Okay, let's get a battery. Oh, good God. How did I miss that? Okay, that, I'm, a, I'm ashamed to say I missed one of the... Battery. Oh, goodness me. Right, stick the battery in there. Right, so is that looking... 
Make the car drivable. Ah, okay, great. So let's put this bit of plastic back on. Oh, no, let's, let's put it back on. Let's take it off to put it back on. That makes no sense at all. Okay, great. Pop you down. And what was the last part? Test car on the diagnostic path. We can do that. Wow. I, I didn't actually keep a track of how much money we spent. Okay, that looks fine. Let's see the rears. Brakes look absolutely fine. Suspension. Oh, we didn't check the suspension. He only made. He only said make it go. He didn't say make it safe. He said make it go. And uh, and if you want, uh, actually no, the suspension looks fine. Brakes look good. Let's see what the rear suspension comes out as. No, that's perfectly serviceable. I'm happy with that. I think that's a good, good job. Well done. Just thinking about it. Ah, oh, there we go. Thought it crashed for a second. Is that it? Good to go. Good to go. Boom. Okay, guys, I might leave it there now. Uh, we've been we going 20 minutes now. I think that's probably enough of, um, yeah, I think I'm trying to keep these videos down to about 20 minutes. I think that makes them reasonably easy viewing, uh, save, you know, going through uh, job after job after job. We've got a nice little Revington van to come next time. I didn't actually bother reading what the uh, diagnostics were or what we have to do on it. The wheels look far too small for the body, but um, I guess it is just a commercial van, so it doesn't matter. But there we go. I'll leave it there, guys. Thanks for watching. We've done remarkably well this this time out. And uh, how much money do we have? We have... We may never know. 23,000. There we go. Let's just sell the crap in our... Um, in our inventory. And... Uh, oh, wow. Okay, if I do it that one, I don't have to move the mouse. Ah, uh, yeah, that's a, that's a plan. Look, there you go. Efficiency. Damn, can't do any more. But there we go. We are now thirty-three thousand, just under three and a half. Sorry, twenty-three and a half thousand. So we're doing really well. Um, it's a lovely sunny day, so I'm going to take advantage of that and knock off early, go outside and enjoy the, uh, the summer sun. So thanks for watching guys, hope you enjoyed this, and join me next time for more Car Mechanic Simulator 2014. So I'll see you then.